Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Today, we're out on the lake and we're about to do some frog fishing. Frog fishing is by far my favorite way to go bass fishing. I love it, the excitement of it, the blow up, and the big fish that you can catch on a frog. It's just a lot of fun. Nest. And the bird's nest. <laughs> so you yeah. can't forget about got, the bird's Gotta nest. love the bird's nest. And we got my boy Fletcher with me. What's going on, brother? Hey. <laughs> What's going hey. on, dude? What's up, man? I almost left you hanging there. there was, <laughs> I know. There was one time in, in one of our videos. That was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna be frog fishing today, see if we can catch some really big fish. This year, I have been addicted to frog fishing, and it's probably been, shoot, a month and a half since I've uploaded a frog video. So today is the day. Hit the like button if you guys wanna see some more frog content. Boy, yeah, subscribe yeah. to the channel and then comment down below if you guys wanna see some more videos like this or if you have some other videos in mind. And if you could, share this video with a friend. Helps out the channel a lot. Get somebody new in the fishing. Well, let's go ahead and get after it. I think we're gonna smoke them on a frog. What's going on? <laughs> so, I forgot that last time I used this fishing rod, I bird's nest the crap out of it. Oh, it was already it bird's was nest. Already okay, bird's I thought nest. you just... Just did it. it doesn't look that bad, but let me tell you, this sucker is stuck. All right. While well, you're doing that, I'm going to do some fishing. I think that's the plan. That's the plan, man. All right, y'all. So this is the setup that we're using. I got this paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. You guys can get it down below, kickingtheirbass.com. And I also have this paired up with the old Pop and Pickle, but it's a white Pop and Pickle. It's one of my favorite frogs of all time. It's really a perch. That's what they call it, it's a perch, but it's a frog in my book, man. But yeah, we're gonna get after it. Hoping we can get some of these fish under the trees. The last time we were out here, we couldn't really get them on a frog that good, but I'm feeling it today. I think uh, we're gonna end up catching some really good fish. You know, this fall time, it's finally, it's finally super nice outside. We got some good weather. Hasn't been cold, hasn't been super warm. It's just like good, nice fall weather. So I'm looking forward to this. So hopefully the fish are feeling the same way we are. And they're going to hop on this frog today. Uh, first cast, we're off to a hot start, boys and girls. Things are going our way today. Really great. I mean, how do I snag a freaking frog first cast? Really great. Things are going my way early, I guess. <laughs> By the end of it. Oh, dude, did you see that? He didn't even eat it all the way. I just slurped it. Throw it in reverse, Terry. Golly. I gotta get dialed here. I'm off. I'm way off. Yeah, they might. This pot and pickle is, a, dude, I am getting it up there too, buddy. I mean. Like, how is there not a fish there, dude? That's so, mm, so good. Ew, That's what like just confuses me about this place. Oh my gosh, I about threw myself under there. <laughs> well, I mean, look where my bait's at, Flash. You you got me crazy to say there's not a bass in there. Nine line had this like foundation event and red. There it is. That's a good one too. Look at that. That's a monster. That is a good old shot. Start off the video. <laughs> wow. That thing was hyper. You gotta love that, man. Look how, that's a good one, buddy. Hey, it took us a minute to get a bite, but that's the ones you want. Come here, buddy. Oh, we choked it. Dude, that's a nice. <laughs> I smacked you in the face and I smacked myself in the back of the neck with my frog. That's a good fish, guys. You know, it's been a little slow start. I thought we were gonna see a lot more with how I was casting that frog, but that's our first fish. About a three pounder, that's what that's what we want. Maybe we can get one even bigger. That fish was hyper too. That's what we wanna see. And one thing I pay attention to guys, it don't matter what bait I'm throwing, you know, we didn't have many bites on this right off the rip. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's part of fishing, but right when we did get a bite, that fish committed and he had it in the back of his throat. So something to pay attention to. 
Hey, I won't take many bites if they're gonna be that size. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like a frog bite typically is, has a little bit more girth in here. It does. You know, I will say the last time we threw a frog in here, I think it was for your video. I don't know if you remember, but I caught two. And they were freaking both four pounds. Remember yeah. that? Or one was like probably a high three. Well, I feel like the normal size fish we catch in here is like two pounds. Yeah. They definitely size up to the frog. So guys, right now, you know, we're just fishing this tree line. It's got a lot of shade on it. And we're skipping way up in there. I mean, that, that frog is all the way up on the bank. And we just haven't had many bites. You know, I've had a few roll on this white frog. Fletcher's throwing a black one. And he hasn't, you haven't had a bite yet, have you? Mm -hmm. You know, I caught that one fish. It's just, we can't really. Oh, how's it going? A few, a few missed bites. Look at that. Ooh. Did you see that? Hey, you know what I did there too? I slowed it down. That was a straight pause right there. I look up and there's a boil. I wasn't paying attention. But guys, the biggest thing that we're trying to figure out right now is how do these fish want this bait? And you know, they might not even want it on this bank. You know, we're throwing underneath all this shade and these lay downs. The other side of the bank's got more of some grass to it. You know, that grass might be a better bet for us right now. And a lot of these fish could be out in the middle. You know, they could be roaming, chewing on some bait. We actually saw a few loons. You know, there might only be some of these largemouth that are pushed up under these trees. So we're just gonna keep on covering some water, kind of put together a little game plan for today to figure out what these fish are wanting. See if we can catch some good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that one you and Alan caught them. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, those big reds are falling. Oh, you saw that. Oh, oh, dude, that's a good one. Yeah. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. Big mama. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. I'm getting stuck over here. Fletcher. You got one? Dude, in the same spot, I never moved it. Uh, well, this thing was down the field. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, by the bean. Double up. Fletcher. This one he thought it was going to be a slow day. Dude, I threw up there and I was watching you and I just hear something. I look up and there's a big boil. Look at this, dude. Two fatties. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, mine choked it too, man. Look at that. <laughs> Both Come of on. them, dude. Oh yeah, yours mine is disappeared. All, my bait is even coming out the end. I have to get the pliers to get that out. We start off that slow and then we double up that easy. Ain't that something? It's crazy, dude. We saw that movement though. Just saw one splash and sure enough. Two largies right there. Get a little Look at fish that. pump. Yes, sir. Boom. They're like identical too. I know. I think yours might be a tad bigger. I was hard. Dude, they're, to, they're so hard. They're to tell. literally the same. <laughs> Carbon copy. <laughs> yeah, we saw just a little bit of movement up in that grass, and he threw up there, got slammed. I threw up there, was watching him, and I heard some. I look up, he already ate it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let this little pancake go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, we needed that. Give me some, yeah, man. <laughs> Give me we some. need that bad. Well, guys, I didn't expect for that to happen. I mean, I would have maybe assumed maybe we could get a double up today, but with how slow it's been. Yeah. <laughs> but with how the fishing's been, you know, in the last, what, 45 minutes, hour? Yeah. It just hasn't been anything special. You know, they weren't committing. They weren't doing anything crazy. I think your fish eating that bait and then me following up there, it, it just fired them up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you get... You know, one fish to commit when there's like a group of them. It oh, gets them it gets all, them all. Fire. Yeah, gets them all turned turned up. I'll tell you, this is what I did, Fletcher. Threw up there, boom. Smack. Now I was watching you. Now oh, I look yeah. up and it's like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh my god. I will say that's the second time I got bit. Just we, we might need to just pop it one. <laughs> oh my gosh! What do you need to do, man? Oh my gosh, that's a monster! Oh, yeah, that is a big one, dude. oh my oh. goodness! That's one of the bigger ones I've seen. Yo, what? Okay. How many, how many times do you need to pop it, now? You pop it once. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Watch how big this thing is. Dude. Oh yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good one. one. That's a good fish. 
We just figured it out. We're, we're doing everything wrong the whole time, Fletcher. Hey, I'll tell you another thing. We fished that grass. Holy cow. That might be over for That's a good one. That's a very good one. Yeah, that, that one's four. Yeah, that's a four all day. Wow. Well, guys, that's what you want. Yeah, that's four pounder all day, Fletch. Yeah, you think so? She's, yeah. she's lengthy. Dude, she's fat. Dang. That was a mean bite, man. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting on some freaking tanks. These last three bites have not been hesitant at all. They wow. Dude, I mean, it's crazy right because we were just talking about it. I was telling Fletcher, this is how I'm working it. It wasn't, hey, that one, no. Or a little no. boosh. That was a, you throw a brick in the water. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> if I was at any other place and I heard a blow up like that, I think I have a dang 10 pounder on my line. I mean, that, that was just, that's that something else, man. So since we just learned that guys, now we're going to put it to the test and let's see, let's see if it's actually what was causing us to not get by. Another thing to think about too, guys, you know, over there, we were fishing the grass over here. We're or, uh, over there. We're fishing the trees over here. We're fishing the grass. Could it, could it make a difference? Yeah. But then again, could it be the way we're working it? I definitely think so. This water looks like it's up a little bit too, so maybe that's why they're hugging this grassy stuff a Dude, little bit seriously. more. You see that water up in there? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, maybe they're up in that stuff. Dude, if you get crushed right there, that'd be sick. I love getting crushed in the, in the just the gunk. I bet you he was up in there. It might have oh, called yeah. him out. I bet it was at least holding the edge of it tight. Drop a comment down below. What is y'all's favorite way to fish a frog? Like favorite of all time. I'm not talking about how they bit it recently. Or you can talk about that too. Drop a comment down below on the last time you went frog fishing and how did they eat it? You know, were you popping it a lot? Were you working it super slow? What were you doing to trigger this fish to bite? Also, what color were you using? Drop this comments down below. You know, we can all learn from it. It's just so crazy. You know, you go out one day, they'll want something. You go out the next day, you know, we could go out tomorrow morning and be popping this frog like this to get him to bite. But today it might be just a different, whole different thing. Fishing's crazy. Every day it's always changing. I don't think that tree used a... No, that's new. Yeah, that's, a, that's a recent... Over there. I like that. I like that a lot. Right next to the dock. There's a couple of fish on it. I just went behind over it. Ballsy. Gets rid of 10 to get a nine. Oh. Yeah, I got her. She's stuck on the tree though. We're stuck on the Fight tree. Out. Out. She's stuck. We're gonna, we gotta go get her. She's wrapped. Well, we got one, but we are wrapped on the tree. Where is she hooked, dude? Know, the frog's right? on the outside of her face. Oh. That is some weird, funky stuff going on. You got her? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're gonna go I didn't up. really think this through, Flip. <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of the frog. Oh, that worked. That worked. Have you ever hooked a frog in the oh, bottom of the gills? Yeah. That, that is the weirdest frog placement. Hook set there, guys, but we got her in the boat. We got her untangled. That was crazy. <laughs> Wasn't graceful, but it did the job. And another solid one, probably the, the smallest of the bunch today, but still a, just a really fat short fish, man. I'll tell you, when you hook <laughs> them underneath here, though, it tends to be when they like plop See over it they, yeah they don't eat it they just roll and i just when set roll, it and a windows on top of yeah, it yeah just right time on the yeah the front I got all Dude, you got a freaking tree hanging out over there well thanks for the bite lady we appreciate it hey guys, the frogs that we're using that's the striking sexy uh frog. sexy frog and then this is the pop and pickle there's the pop <laughs> The pop and perch, they probably should change the name because dude, when you go on Google, you can literally type in pop, pop and pickle. pickle people search the dang thing so much. But this is a pop and perch. Um, if you guys want to get a discount on them, my discount code is linked down below. You can get them on strikeking.com. Just want to put that out there. Hey, if you guys are some OG subscribers from the last, like I'd say five years, y'all already know about the pop and pickle. This thing is just, woo, spicy.
Come on, big bass, big belly bass. Where you at? We just had all that action to nothing. He thought we figured something out. Hey, we're just right place, right time. I don't know, dude. It might be that slow. I haven't been doing. I need to be five second pause type type thing. Type of beat. See that? You, you just act like you're a shark. You go push. You just let that thing sit. Let me go. Let it sit. Thing is, he'll come up and sniff it. He just and then it it pops. He, he just smokes it. Just like that. Unless this thing just starts sinking on you. I waited too long. Danny Looney Tunes have been everywhere. Now. We got him dancing. A little shimmy shimmy. He's doing the Looney Tunes. <laughs> the birds are so weird. Gosh. That was a, that's another big one, dude. <laughs> Fletcher. The pigs are out. The, hey. the only the big ones are biting. Hey, it's a good problem to have. Hey, that's a great problem to have. Look how fat. Man. He ate it like a shark. Look at the bait behind us. Is it swirling? I don't okay. know. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. Guess what I was doing again? Slow as can be, Fletcher. Look at how big. <laughs> they are feeding up I mean, good, man. They're going to be real fat this winter. I mean, look at these beautiful bass. I mean, they're just so pretty. Look at that. We ate it. They're crazy how fat they are. I'm convinced it's the slow pause, dude. <laughs> yeah. We fished all that bank, and listen, we fished it slower, but we yeah. didn't fish it slow. I threw that in there, dude, and just played slow with it, and it's like... I want it slow, dude. So hear me out. This is what I think. I think we throw it up there and I just pop it really hard and it's just so aggressive that it puts off a signal for about 15 foot <laughs> on each side of it, okay? And then he comes and he finds it. He goes, <sighs> and then when I pop it, he goes, <laughs> okay? Yeah. That's literally what they're doing. I don't know about your 15 foot signal. That's, that's a large radius <laughs> for a, a frog camping waiting to hit that a frog. Sounds better, okay? Well guys, we haven't had a ton of bites today. What I will say are the bites that we have had are freaking good ones. We haven't even seen a small fish. That's probably why we ain't getting many bites. We're only getting the big ones to eat it. Usually it's not like that. Usually a pound and a half pound yeah, bass would, would eat a frog. Fish. 